What time is your date tonight? I don't have a date. What time's yours? Oh, uh, what happened to uh, a beautiful, warm-hearted, ever-loving Alice? Her mother's in town. She had to cancel. Mother's in town? You bought that? No. <laughs> what am I going to say? Well, say you're, uh, you're invited to a houseboat party and they told you to come alone. Say anything, but don't ever let a, a chick stick you like that. Yours canceled out on you, too, huh? Do I look like I know where there's a houseboat party? Brown not only beat us in, he's already loaded and going out. That old boy really hustled. Looks like he's hustled himself right asleep. Why doesn't he get a swamper like a real trucker? I don't know. Well, let's go hustle him. Teddy boy, it's up the up time. Hey. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> this guy could sleep on a dirt bike. <laughs> hey, Teddy, wake up. I think he's sick. Hey, Teddy, wake up. <laughs> on your way to San Francisco. This is San Francisco. Huh? Well, son of a gun, it sure is. Huh? Hey, go. Brown, will you move it? You can't go anywhere, he's Come sick. On, he's hauling up the parade. He can't Brown, move. Take the rig over there on hitch and I'll get no, out of the no, car. No, no, no. You can't do that. Listen, listen, I'm all loaded up. I'm ready to go and I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. How are you feeling? I'm fine, just fine. Oh, that around your neck, how is he? Well, I called the doc, he said it sounds like flu or maybe worse, he wants to see him. Come on, we'll take you in. Now, come on, forget about the doc. All I needed was to rest here for a few seconds. Sure you did. I read your log. Then if anybody else reads it, you are in big trouble. We saw you last night in Bakersfield. Your log says that you slept. No way, man, you hauled it in here. Well, uh, I had insomnia. I like to keep moving. Keep on hauling like that, you're gonna end up buying the orchard. Hey, Sonny, look, I thought I told you to wanna hitch this load. I gotta put somebody else on it. Look, I, I gotta take out that load. I mean, I got overhead, I got obligations. You look like you got one foot in the grave, man. You're not driving one of my loads to Reno. I can't afford to lose this run. I'm sorry. When is that uh, load of ours from Vancouver supposed to be ready? Right until late tomorrow. All right, look, you've got a tight schedule. I'll take your rig to Reno and bring it back tomorrow. How's that? Uh, no, no, I can't let you do that. You could be laid up for weeks. No, 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 now look, Willow, buddy, I appreciate it very much, but that is look, my load. I'm <laughs> taking you to the doctor. <coughs> no. I'll hitch the load and get it out of here, please. <coughs> All right, I'll do a solo. It's no sweat. You got any phone numbers for me in Reno? You think you can drive a cab over without me? Yep.
did. You did. Who are you? What have you done with Teddy? Well... I know this is too good to be true. If you just give me a straight answer, I'm going straight to the police. Now, where is he? Okay, hold on, hold on. He's sick. Teddy. That's all. Teddy is sick? Yeah. Well, what's wrong? Does he have a doctor? He's in the hospital? Yeah, Where no, is no, he? No, wait, wait. Don't run away from me. Hold on a second. He's, uh, he's probably got the flu. Overworked. Exhaustion. Yes, he's got a doctor. No, he's not in the hospital. He's probably in a motel room somewhere in San Francisco. And what are you doing with his truck? Taking care of it for a couple of days until he gets back on his feet. Will Chandler. Abby. Abby Brown? Abby Brown. Uh, of course. Prelude. Boy, he sure knows how to keep a girl happy. Because that's a talent given to only a few. Yeah, well, he works at it. And I do, too. Gee, I had such a nice evening all planned. Well, the kids were going to be out. I was going to have spare ribs and sauerkraut. I know spare ribs and sauerkraut may not sound too romantic, but he loves them. They even had aromatic candles. What are you doing for dinner? Oh, I'm probably going to go to some typically dingy diner and grab a bite. You know oh, the way I'm... you guys live. Look, you're not the real thing, but you'll do. Come on. Oh, no, no. You can't get me that easily. I got a couple of phone calls I can make, and I'll... That is so silly. You truck drivers are all lonely, and besides, you don't have that many phone numbers. Come on. Sauerkraut? And ribs. Cornbread? Always have cornbread. Okay. Okay, I'll meet you at my car. Uh, listen, you'll probably need the aromatic candles. Here we go, Sonny. This is just for you. <laughs> That's a spot hitter. Uh, I appreciate everything you've done today. Forget it. Teddy, you're home already. Ah, uh, sweetheart, we just... Now, listen, I told you not to carry that big a load. How are you? Are you all right? Oh, yeah, huh? I, I'm fine. How are you? Mm. Oh, hey, I don't want to hug you too tight. You can't hug me too tight. Things like that don't hurt a baby. Mm. This is my surprise, Sonny. I want you to meet my wife, Betsy. I didn't even know you were married. Hi. Sonny Pruitt. Hi, Sonny. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going to make dinner a minute. When you called me at work... Now, you see, she won't quit work no matter what I tell her to do. Well, I was so worried. Now, I'm worried about you, sweetheart. Now, you come right over here oh. and you sit down. Come on. Oh. Tell me what's wrong. Oh, nothing. I had a shot and some pills. I just got the flu. The flu? Mm hmm You're going to bed. Oh, no, honey. Not now. Yes, Later. now. Is he telling me the truth? I mean, he never wants me to worry. Uh, Scott's on her. Oh, yeah. Fine. Here you go. Nice kids. Yeah, they're not only nice looking, they are nice kids. Uh, no vintage wine? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I've got a half a uh, gallon of some uh, red wine Teddy likes. That's all right. You this sure? Is, uh, no, this is beautiful. It's a nice place. Teddy gives us all we need and then some. You know, he never spends a dime on himself. I never thought of him as a family man, but I'll bet he fits right in here. I wonder why he doesn't call. Do you know where to reach him? Flowers. Do you believe this man? As sick as he is. And you get me flowers. Sonny, we're going to have a baby. I never would have noticed. <laughs> Hi, Junior. Hi. This is Will Chandler. Hi. Hi, Junior. I'll start on the kids' rooms. Okay. You know, I used to drive. Did you? Yeah. I rode with Teddy for two years before we made enough to start a family. Did you? Yeah. Drove the rig? Right. Did he have the cab? Hi, Bumper. Hi, Leroy. This is Hi. Chandler. Hi. Hi. I'll get the garbage. Leroy's going to help me. How was school? The garbage is better. Oh, I heard that somewhere before. See you later, Mom. Okay, Stevie. Stevie, Bumper, Leroy, Junior. It's a nice bunch of kids.
You don't think so? What's the matter? Yeah, I... I just had an idea. <sighs> Do you know what I have for you? What? Ribs and sauerkraut. Ribs and sauerkraut. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Sonny, wait till you taste them. They're fantastic. Now, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some wine and some can... <laughs> Are you going to go to bed? Yes, I'm going to put you to bed right oh, now. Oh, no, honey, lady, please. Really, you ought to hit the sack and get a good night's sleep. He's absolutely right. How are you going to feel better in the morning? Come on. Now, lean on me. Here, here we go. But, Mom, can't you just call him? I tried and I couldn't. I know as soon as I get there, I'll be able to find him. Are you a good driver? Hey. Uh, don't, don't worry about that, Bumper. I'm going to drive. It'll give Will here a chance to rest. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye. Listen, if anything goes wrong, you go straight to your Aunt Sally, okay? Hey, and stop with the long faces. Your father's going to be fine. I know he is. You sure you want to drive? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Okay. I'll call you guys as soon as I get there, so stop worrying. Stop worrying. <laughs> drive great. Well, it's kind of like riding a bicycle or, uh, it's like loving. You know, once, once you've done it, you never forget. Yeah, I know what you mean. See if I can find a dispatcher and find out a few things, okay? Okay. Hang in there. Hey, Sonny, four o'clock low tomorrow afternoon for Vancouver. That's great. Have a good trip. Yeah. I'll take it myself if he doesn't make it back. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good load. Hi, guy. Hey, guy, how are you? Right on time. Hey, We're out here tomorrow night for Vancouver. Oh, terrific. You beat? No, no, I'm fine. I'm steady. Fit as a fiddle. I think the flu shot out, but I think really what it was, that little wife of his, you should have seen her stuffing him with soup and ribs and sauerkraut. Sauerkraut for flu? <laughs> Listen, if you haven't tried it, don't knock it. I don't know what she puts in it, but it works. Teddy's wife? She made sauerkraut. Ribs and sauerkraut and cornbread. I'm telling you, I disgraced myself last night. Teddy and his wife. With Teddy and his wife. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Now, wait a second. I ate pretty well myself last night. I had sauerkraut, I had cornbread, and I had ribs. How about that? He left some in the truck. No. Hot on a plate. But it makes sense. Betsy never left the house, and, and you were in Reno. Reno, Nevada, with Teddy's wife, Abby. Abby Brown. Abby Brown, whom he married 18 years ago, and by whom he has four children, Stevie, Bumper, Leroy, and Junior. And they live in a nice house with pictures Look, all over the no, walls. No, it just can't be. There's got to be some kind of a mistake. No mistake. She came back here with me today, and she, she's, uh, she wants to see how he is. How could a guy get himself in a pickle like that? Uh, I couldn't even hold on to one. He, he volunteers for two. Oh, now, wait a minute. You don't know all the circumstances. Look, we are going to find out the circumstances if, if those two get together. Teddy is with Betsy, and she's bringing them in here. Now, where's the Reno wife? I told you. She's here in the truck. She drove the truck back. She drove? Yeah, she oh, drove. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, at least she can make a living while he's in jail. I don't know what Betsy's gonna do. Betsy is pregnant out to here. When she finds out about this, she's gonna... They're here. Abby. No, no, Betsy and Teddy. Oh, no, Abby and Betsy. Where is Abby? In the... All right, all right. Keep her in, in, in the... Hey, Abby! Hey, listen. Stay right there, will you? I'll be right back. Yeah, well, hurry it up, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, no, 
no, uh, no, uh, no, wait. Uh, uh, the dispatcher gets very upset uh, walking around, you know, kind of like in this condition. You know, right, Teddy? Sure, sure. And uh, we've got to make a load now, and we've got to talk to Teddy about it right away. Okay? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll be right back, Angel. Okay. Okay. Bye. She's very cute, huh? She takes real good care of you, doesn't she? Bessie is a doll. Yeah. Mm. You got a lot to be thankful for. Oh, I do. Like, uh, like Abby, and like Junior, and like Steve, and like Leroy. Now, fellas, I can I, I can explain everything. I got lonesome on the road. That's an explanation. Rick? Yeah, me and my husband, Teddy Brown. You know where he is? Well, he's due. Want to drive down a Bay 18 and get ready for a load? That's Teddy's. Oh, yeah, sure. Now, you know how lonesome it gets at night. Well, I would miss my kids so much. And then I'd go and dream of Abby so I couldn't sleep, and I couldn't eat, and I couldn't drive. And then this, this one night I was a little high, and I met Betsy. She was lonesome. But she understood what I was feeling. And I understood what she was feeling. So the next time I came here, I took her out. And, uh... Well, we... We needed each other. You put a bun in the oven. Ma'am, got to move this thing out of here. A lot of trucks are going to be coming in any minute now. Sure. Hey, hey, do you know what became of my husband? Who's your husband? Teddy Brown. The Teddy Brown? Big, stocky sort of fellow? Yeah, that's him. He's your husband? What do you think? Honey, don't matter what I think. What you think, that's important, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so listen, will you tell him where I moved to anyway? Yes, miss. Miss? Say, don't you think you ought to call me missus? M missus, that's what I mean, missus. <laughs> Anything that makes you happy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with, uh, with getting married twice, but you forgot one thing, to get divorced. In between. Divorced? Well, why should I get divorced? I love Betsy, and I love Abby. In fact, I am married to the two most wonderful women in the world. You know, that is a, that is a very refreshing attitude in this day and age. So that's why you're always broke. That's why you have to work so hard. Well, you think this life is easy? Let me tell you something. Forgetting the driving. It's darn hard work trying to remember what you said to which one? Well, at least you got the menu straightened out. Oh, yeah, well, I just figured that out last month. I don't care what he said. You're in my way, so move it. You can't order me around. I was told to park here. Look, either you move it or I'll come down there and move it for you. You stay where you are. I'm pregnant. What am I supposed to do, give you a shower? Now, will you move it? I wouldn't move for anyone now. Logan! You know something? I've met a lot of rude women in my time, but you're the worst. All right, I'll, uh, I'll take my wife, you take yours. This is not a parking lot, dummy. It's a loading dock. Right, right, come on, what? We can Listen, talk now. Uh, Betsy, what was that all about, anyway? Mother of the year there won't move her car so I can load up. Well, everything is all right Did now, Did you find okay? Teddy? Yeah, yeah, he's coming, he's coming. Now, you stay right here and, 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 and don't get in an uproar. Don't cause any more trouble. You really are going to have to move. In fact, it might just be better if you went on home. Home? Oh, no, I'm waiting here for Teddy. I, I know, but see, I got some good news and I got some bad. The good news is Teddy got a premium load. But the bad news is 
He had to leave right away, so he, he asked me to say goodbye for him. He left? Yeah, he just felt terrible about it. He really did, but we, you know how trucking is. I mean, when a man says move, you just, you move. Yeah, but I had something to tell him. Betsy, you, you really are going to have to move. They load here. But I'll, I'll probably see him out on the road. I'll tell him. What is it? Never mind. It doesn't matter. If he doesn't think enough of me to even say goodbye. Oh, I don't even know why I'm having this baby. Now, be careful. Abby! Honey Lamb, what are you doing here? Lover, you just get yourself right on over here and put those great big arms around me. I want to make sure you're all recovered. Oh, you might have been sick yesterday, but you sure ain't sick today. Oh, honey lamb, how could I stay sick knowing what I had to look forward to? think he's in the South Seas or something, think he can get away with something like this. Well, what I don't understand is why we're the only ones that know. He's got to blow his cover sooner or later. Got to. Hi, it's that. Hey, Doc. Hey, I sure enjoy meeting a little wife, Petty. Yeah. Yeah, she's a real doll. Yeah. Too, huh? <laughs> hey, have a nice trip. <laughs> hey, is that is that Betsy's bug? Well, it's a blue VW. Take a look. Betsy, Betsy, what's the matter, babe? Uh, I got so upset. I think the baby's coming. Uh, I can, I, I can drop the box faster than we can change this tire. Okay. Come on, that's it. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Take pleasant thoughts. Think, think about a sailboat in the moonlight. Think about, 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 about birds in the twilight. Birds in the twilight. She's thinking of babies. You better be ready in case we're late.
Charlie, give us a hand here. Will you ladies having a having a baby? How long ago was your last pain? Uh, three minutes. Relax, Pops. She's gonna be fine. You made it in plenty of time. You're gonna have to sign her in. Go on. Sign her in. You still got the energy. I'll sign her in, and then that's it. I've had enough midwifing for one day. You know, we gotta find that father. This is his responsibility. Where'd you stay last night? Oh, uh, well, where I usually stay. Did the doctor come to you? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I went to see him at the hospital. Oh. Terrible transient. Terrible transient. Can you read me? This is terrible transient? Yeah, old buddy. This is Lester the Nester. Got a 1021 for you, pal. You ready? Shoot. Call San Francisco. 555-5340. Can you read me? Roger, Lester. 10-4. Five 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 three four zero. Oh, three four zero. Got it. That's well. I don't know, honey. Well, I'll pull in at the first telephone booth and find out. Yeah. 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 Whoopee! <laughs> oh boy, that is wonderful. A girl. My first girl, Sonny. You know, I can hardly believe it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Now, Sonny, listen. You tell Betsy I'm going to be there as soon as possible. And thanks. Bye. Well, you do have a bottle in there. You look so happy. Oh, Abby, it's wonderful. What? You, you see, Abby, I got to pick up an emergency load, and it's going to mean that I'm going to have to reroute. But it's premium pay, so it's fine. Okay. Good deal. Now, listen to me, Abby. The bus back to Reno stops here, and I want you to get on it and go home, and I'm going to drive off to uh, Doobie McPhee's. Why can't I go with you? Everything at home is under control. Abby, it's a dangerous job, and you got to go home. I'd love you. We've been so busy with the kids and work and drive. But I gotta tell you something. You are one magnificent woman to me. Teddy. And I don't want any harm to come to you. And that's why you're gonna get on that bus and go home like I'm telling you. Or are you forgetting who's running this little family? No, I haven't forgotten, Daddy. All right, honey, I'll miss you. Bye. Give my love to the kids, huh? Go on. like that. Aren't you getting your mother's confused? I am? Hey, you should have been in when she first came out. She was hollering like crazy. She's 
gonna be a knockout. I got me a baby girl. We got us a baby girl. Right. Dr. Dormer, you are wanted in emergency. Dr. Dormer, you are wanted in emergency. Dr. Dormer. Oh, I hate to give her up here. Uh, I got to bail you out, huh? Sonny, I'm going to pay you back as soon as possible. Right, well, we meet you out front. Betty ain't that sick, Ma. Ain't they sick? He probably isn't sick at all. They, they just probably wanted to give him a report or something, you know? Now listen, gang, I want you all to behave. Good, Teddy. Guys, look. Dr. Dormer. <laughs> I'm sorry I yelled at you. Oh, that's all right. I think we were both upset. Hey, that kid looks just like my baby pitcher. <laughs> well, they say all kids look alike when they're born. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Okay, you big palooka. I got something to tell you. Abby is here. Abby? Abby, Abby Reno, your, your Reno sweetheart, remember? Abby. This is what's happening. Sonny is taking Betsy to the parking lot, and you are going to stay here until I find out what's happening. Ah, and she brought the kids. Kids? Yeah, Eve, Bubba, Leroy, and... Uh, Junior? Junior! Do you have a Mr. Teddy Brown here? A Mr. Teddy Brown? Theodore Roosevelt Brown. We don't have a Mr. Brown. We have a Mrs. Brown, but she just checked out. Well, could you try emergency or the laboratory or something? Do they have a morgue? Oh, shut up, Bumper. Um, I have an address for a Mr. T.R. Brown, but that's all. Somebody else is going to get carried away. Uh, listen, Teddy, we'd like to talk to you out on the patio, huh? Oh, look, fellas, we're going to have to wait. i got to help put the baby to bed. Oh, Betsy can do that. Yeah, sure, go ahead, honey. Just come on a minute, Teddy. We can have a beer. Teddy, old buddy, you have had it. I give Abby maybe ten minutes to find out this address. Now, you listen. You just listen. If it hadn't been for you two guys butting in, everything would have worked out. Wait a minute, mister. Neither one of us married two different women. You're the one that got me out of my rig when I was sick. And you drove it up there, and you got Abby all upset. And you called me in my rig when I was having a baby. So it was you two got me into this mess, and you're going to help me out of it. You believe this kind of insane logic? Um, you are just going to have to face the music, pal. Well, how can I? You get your butt on a plane, you fly to Mexico, the Dominican Republic, you get in and out, you divorce both of them, and nobody can nail you for bigamy. Right. Well, what kind of a man do you think I am? Okay.
go to jail. Well, oh, talk about timing. Keep her away from here. Now, uh, how? Well, I don't know how. I don't have any idea how. You think of something. Let's see if uh, Molly has everything she needs. No, no, she's asleep. Yeah, well, let's see anyway. Uh, Will, uh, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, How sick is he? Uh, listen, could you give me a lift to the store? I'm all out of cigars and I... No, I'm sorry, Will. My place is with my husband. Uh, Bumper, Stevie, Leroy. All right, who is she? Now, everybody just take it easy and, and stay calm. Who's he? He's the guy that was pushing that wheelchair. No, no, that's... Uh, that's Sonny, my partner. Oh, well, then this is his place and that was his baby. No, 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 not exactly. He's, uh, he's the godfather. Go on, tell her. Uh, honey, can I have a divorce? <laughs> a divorce! What a good idea! <laughs> we can go through dating and getting married and having a baby all over again. You're smart. <laughs> you tell her. Abby? Teddy. Uh, baby, how are you? Hi, Dad. Hey, he's okay. Yeah, I'll talk. Teddy, I do think you owe me an explanation. Now, whose place is this? And why do I have this funny feeling? Now, Abby, don't get excited. You'll wake the baby. Darling, let's get out of here. I promised the boys that if you were okay, we'd all have a little vacation. Well, honey, I can't leave just yet. Why not? Uh, kids, how'd you like to have a little baby sister? Yeah, yeah. Mom, that'd be great. Sure, a, a nice little tight with a round red face and squinty little eyes. Darling. I love you very much, but we're not having any more babies. Oh, you could have a baby if you got a divorce. A divorce? What in blazes are you jabbering about? A divorce? Who want to come from a broken home? Well, it wouldn't be broken, just uh, a little crack. Yeah, well, all right, gentlemen, all of you, uh, get out of here. Go on into the kitchen, get something to eat. But I'm not hungry. Well, since when does that make any difference? Go on, eat. Maybe the last chance you ever get. A divorce? When I just got back from the hospital with my baby? That's the meanest thing I've ever heard of. But you don't want Teddy to go to jail, do you? Don't you see that that's the best way out? Let him go to jail! How was I supposed to know there was another woman? No wonder we were always broke. You know, it would be much worse if he were in jail. He, he couldn't even support you this much, and besides... He loves you. Loves me? You bum. You fink. You, you, you no good. Abby, I don't want an unfriendly divorce. You get your divorce, all right. I'll race you to the lawyer. Well, he's trying to protect you. Protect me? Oh, oh. I don't ever want to see him again. Get him out of here. I don't want to see him, and I don't want Molly. It's you. Now, wait a second. Before either of you says something you're going to regret, something to be said in this man's defense. A man who has no respect for marriage? I mean no respect for marriage. He respects it so much, he got married twice. I mean, he loves you both. He doesn't want to lose either one of you. Any of you. That's right. I don't. It's just that I got so lonesome, I couldn't help myself. I love you, Abby. And Betsy. Now, when you divorce me, I'm going to work just as hard as I always done. And not because I have to, but because I want to. I'm the same man I was yesterday, the same person I always been. Is Molly our baby sister? 
Uh, yes, son. She's uh, in the back bedroom. So divorce me. But don't turn against me. Abby? I'll be at home. I don't know how I'll feel when I get there, but I'll be at home. Well, can I call you when I get there? I'll never refuse a call from you, Teddy. Betsy? Betsy? Is there anything more that I could do to help you and Molly? Never mind, for now. Hey, father of the year. I blew it. I really blew everything. Come on, get in. We'll give you a lift over to your rig. Well, I'm going to do everything I said that I would. I've already talked to Wheels, and he's promised me as much work as I can handle, so they won't be suffering for money, at least. Well, listen, if if you have some spare time to get lonesome on the road, we know this uh, widow lady's got a motor home. Oh, it's all Lucille, paid off. Yeah, yeah she could oh, Two kids. Here's something else. I couldn't handle that kind of pressure. You thrive on it. You welcome it. I think those two women couldn't resist a guy like you. That's why they love you. You really think so? All right. Two mortgages, eight deductions. You can handle that. You can handle anything. Anything. I can. I can handle that. Well, you guys wait and see. Everything's going to be fine. I'm thinking of changing my image. I'm, there's something wrong with me. Yeah? Ah. Well, I never had one woman who cared as much for me as those two women care for Teddy Brown. Yeah, I know what you mean. It makes you feel like you've missed something. Yeah, like a couple of years in jail and a couple of mortgages. And all the sauerkraut you could eat. <laughs> 